Hey, bro, no, you liked it. You asked me to put it in that cage. What? Yeah. I mean, it was weird, but I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. Okay, so what, I just sat there and asked to eat dog food, did I? No, it was chocolate cake, I think. Bullshit. Bullshit. Well, I don't know, but... No, 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 no. Ken used to lock me in a cage. I went all weird. I started wetting the bed. And that's why Dad sent me away to St. Andrews. No, hey, Rome, Dad sent you away to military school because you asked to go. <laughs> Ow! Where'd you stash it, huh? Stash? What? Okay, please, I don't know who you think I am, but I swear I'm not your guy, okay? I know fuck all about Stash. I got a shit job in a shitty office building. I, I can't afford a car, but I tell people I don't own one because I want to save the planet. And I'm only in my mid-twenties, but I've already given up on like 95% of my dreams. Just like Beck Little gave up on me when Billy Grabowski asked her to the year 12 formal and she said yes and dumped me. What I'm saying is, you, me, a Stash, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's our time, man. We run the fucking universe. Yeah, she's a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. Now, I want to know where the fuck Eduardo is. Oh, he, he's got an internship. An internship? Yeah, in New York. It, but the company's here. I mean, a billion dollar company's here. And what confuses me is that in New York, Eduardo introduced himself as the business head of Facebook. Now, I've been at the start of two of the biggest things in the history of the internet, and I can tell you that nothing, nothing is more important to a startup than the energy and ambition of its founders. I just think it'd be best if we slowed things down a little bit. Have we been going fast? Where have I been? I just, right now, I'm just not sure about things. What things? Just, please, just... And it's been... Oh God, it's been a real difficult time for me this past year or so. And now, for the first time, I feel like I'm above water, you know? I feel like, I feel like I know a lot more than I did. And I just, I just want the time to make the right choices. And, and I think that maybe, um, I think that maybe I need to be alone for a while. Um. Chefs, they play with the raw ingredients of life itself and death itself. Like, I've watched every episode of Chef's Table maybe like two or three times. I have watched Slowix 12 times. I have watched him explain the exact moment that a green strawberry becomes perfectly unripe. I have watched him plate a raw scallop at the exact moment that it's having its last dying contraction of muscle. It is art on the edge of the abyss. And that's where God works too.